Archon Bird of Prey, currently in charge of the Night Watch. You are in command of the ship, while Captain Churling and First Officer Durand are off duty. Your ship nears its end. Third Officer Lieutenant Kagawa would like to have a word with you before you leave the bridge. People you can interact with have icons above their heads. Press M to talk with them. The end of the shift is near, at last. I have updated the duty logs. Not that there was a lot to report. Still, we have our duties. You will need to approve the logs before the captain arrives. Unless you are fond of cleaning up after his tag. The logs are up on my station now. Use it to transfer them into the record of battle. Eh, battle. The only battle we face is against the forces of boredom. We are warriors of the Empire. We should be finding glory against Starfleet in honorable combat, not flying through empty space. Interactable items have a glow around. You have completed a task up by and press the duty to interact with the Return to your contact. Lieutenant Kagal. I hope the logs didn't bore you too much. I almost fell asleep writing them. If you'd like something more entertaining, I've made some adjustments to the standard disruptor training program on the holodeck. I think you'll find them interesting. Captain on the bridge! Approach the captain and press F to interact with him. Nook Nesh! I see you and Kagan kept my ship from blowing up during your watch. Kalos would be proud. I relieve you. Return in six hours, Lieutenant. You are dismissed.
Proceed down the hall to the holodeck controls. Use the panel to program the holodeck. Your minimap shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the minimap if you are far away from your objective. The holodeck is initializing. Do not enter. The training program is ready. You may enter now. down the hallway to the turbo lift. to receive your prisoner. Acknowledged. We're beaming the piece of Mokhtok to you, now. I recommend you muzzle him. The sound of his voice is irritating. If he irritates me, I will feed him to my favorite talk, piece by piece. <laughs>
This is Captain Jerlin. I have the prisoner you seek, and I do not wish to be captured or killed. I will permit your boarding shuttles to land on my ship in exchange for my release once you have the prisoner. My crew must never learn of this, so arm your boarding parties and expect resistance once you board. You recovered that message from the Federation borders? My suspicions about our Pataka the Captain have been confirmed. I've been seeing signs of Jerlik's cowardice and incompetence for months now. But finally, this is the proof I need to challenge him. I see that you are near the brig. I want you to talk to the Federation prisoner there. Find out why he is so valuable. And then report back directly to me. Kapla! This rescue attempt has failed. Something on your mind, second officer? You do know your captain's a traitor, right? And now two of you know. That's a start. Tell me, does Duran know about Jerlek's dishonor as well? Well then, I'm guessing you'll be first officer before too long. Can't imagine Duran letting something like that slide. How do you know so much about our crew, Starfleet? It's my business to know things. If I were you, I'd check in with soon-to-be Captain Duran. She'll probably want to talk about your promotion. I'm afraid First Officer Duran is indisposed. Permanently. Report to the bridge at once. Unless you wish to join her in Stovacar. Well, I was half right. Congratulations on your promotion, First Officer. The captain has dishonored himself. You are the next ranking officer. It is your right to challenge him to a duel, to the death. If you defeat him, the ship is yours. Go, you know what must be done. Well, 
triple victory. Under Imperial law, you are now the captain. I will enter the change of command into the record of battle. I am Kagan, son of Kerr. I now take my place as first officer. I serve the captain, but I stand for the crew. Engines and shields are online, sir. Engineering expects to restore our weapons soon. The cloaking device may take a bit longer, however. The Starfleet vessels that attacked us are still in the area, and the Segpa is moving to engage them in battle. There is glory to be found there. What are your orders, Captain? Congratulations, warrior. Captain, there is no sign of the Segpa on scanners. We do not know if the Feds destroyed her, but I suggest we not worry about that just yet. Engines and shields are operational, but we need Iridium to facilitate immediate repairs to other systems, and our Iridium stores were lost in the ambush. Fortunately, there are some asteroids in the vicinity that might have what we need. Increase your speed using E. Decrease your ship speed by using Q. The god has joined your crew. W and S will pitch your ship downward or upward. A and D will turn your ship to the left or right. Full stop! Captain, I recommend we use the scanners to see if this contains any iridium. No iridium on the scanners, but that nearby asteroid field may have what we need. Use your minimap or press M to see where your next objective is. Captain, I recommend using full impulse to reach the asteroid field. Pressing Shift plus R will activate and deactivate full impulse. Hell, full stop! Captain, I stopped the ship this time. But from now on, you'll be responsible for controlling the speed of the ship. We have found several asteroids that contain Iridium, Captain. Weapons are back online. Press the space bar to open fire on a target in range. Mashka! We found some Iridium! Move 
toward the item and press L to loot it. Captain, I'm picking up a Starfleet distress signal. Seems that a frigate looking for us took a hit in a nearby asteroid field. They are disabled. They won't be out of action for long. I suggest we put an end to their hunt while we can. What are your orders, Captain? You must be within 10 kilometers of an enemy to attack it. Mayday! Mayday! We are disabled and under attack by the morale we were searching for. Request assistance! Captain, the Feds are jamming our sensors. We can't get a lock on the Segpa while they do. We have determined the location of the ships that are jamming us, however. We should eliminate them so we can continue our search for the Segpa. It will be a tough fight, but the crew hungers for battle. I think we're up for the challenge. Your orders, Captain? Activate your cloaking device to hide from enemy sensors. You cannot cloak in combat, and you must decloak first before you can attack. After decloaking, you receive a damage bonus for five seconds. until you deactivate your cloaking device. Thank <laughs> you. 
Enemy ships destroyed. Jamming effect neutralized. We are clear to resume our search for the Segpa, Captain. Your orders? This is Captain Kagdar of the IKS Segpa. Where is Captain Jurlek? Ha! <laughs> Finally! That miserable Topa has been a blight for far too long. Congratulations. May you bring glory to your ship and your house. Speaking of which, do you want to join our fight against this Federation Fatah? My long-range comms are down, so I cannot notify High Command of the situation. Communications officer, make a report to command. Give them our coordinates and tell them we are moving to assist the Segpa in battle. Captain, the Starfleet vessel is hailing us. Do you wish to respond? This is the Federation ship USS Musashi hailing incoming Klingon vessel. Captain Jurlek, what are you... Wait, where is Captain Jurlek? Well then, I assume you realize how outgunned you are? <sighs> I'll cut you the same deal I had with Jerlek. Captain, Give us your defense force and we'll let you escape in. and live to fight another day. Failure to comply means we'll disable your ship and take the prisoner by force. It looks like Starfleet wants a fight. Shall we give them one, Captain? You're making a huge mistake.
Most missions can be turned in remotely. Click the icon next to the mission to report to the contact and turn in the mission. We are going to stay here while repairs are underway. But you need to get that Federation prisoner to Kronos immediately. High Command is expecting him. You probably want to space him by now. I know I did. But that would be a career-ending move for you. Just get him to Kronos. Congratulations, warrior. So you're the one with my prisoner. Congratulations! We've captured him many times, but no one has ever actually gotten him as far as Kronos before he escaped. He's quite the prize. Beam him down directly to the prison here in First City, and we'll make arrangements for the prisoner transfer. Kronos prison facility out! Prisoner has been received. The prisoner has been received and muzzled. Typical human, in love with the sound of his own voice. Oh, some stuffy bureaucrat tried to reach you here. Word about your... Promotion has traveled fast, it seems. I suggest you present yourself to the High Council and get the formalities out of the way. There he is, the hero that brought us a Federation prisoner, the warrior who saved the Segpa, the rightful heir of a starship by right of personal combat. You have done well to start your career. I will be keeping an eye on you and your progress. Now, before you go flying off to find your adventure, there is the matter of your duties as a captain in the Klingon Defense Force. First off, there is the matter of Lieutenant Doran's husband, her Parmach. It is your duty to inform him of her death, as you are now her superior officer, even in death. We will find Chagrin, Doran's Parmach, working at the exchange.
Greetings. I am Farm, a fully certified banker and financial investor. What can I help you with today? Chagrin. Oh, right. He's one of the maintenance engineers. Make sure the exchange computers are up and running. Last I knew, he was running diagnostics in the warehouse, located in the back of the exchange. One more thing. As a first-time visitor to this exchange, you qualified for a free sample of our fine merchandise. You won't find better quality anywhere on Kronos Warrior. And if you like it, feel free to come back. Like the Grand Nagus always says, the only thing better than a first-time customer <laughs> is a repeat customer. You have received a kit appropriate to your profession. Open your inventory and double-click it to equip it. With a kit equipped, abilities are added to your action bar that you can perform in ground combat. When you enter a mission, you may be asked to choose which officers to bring with you. Your choices for your away team will grow as you recruit more bridge officers. Shh. Nausicaan smugglers. They must have... Known I was all alone in here. Ambushed me. The pirates robbing the exchange. Someone must stop them. I'm too injured to. You fight well. You've given me time to recover my strength. But now I must find Majorok and put an end to that miserable Takex treachery! Well, tell them, Shukri. Who am I? Majorok! You're nothing but a smuggling Yinta! No. Wrong as always. I'm the one who's going to kill you. <laughs> A real warrior never lets his prey escape. You dare to challenge a warrior of the Empire?
You said you had something to tell me. I understand. She was a true warrior. Tell me, exactly how did she die? It is good you were able to avenge her death, but she failed. I will not have Doran denied entrance to Stovokor because she died at the hands of a traitor. If you would have me, I would join your crew and fight by your side in her name. My talents as an engineer are wasted here in these warehouses. Let me battle worthy foes! You will be a captain worthy of my service. We are Congratulations, being Lieutenant. Prison war. Something I should know about. That prisoner you dropped off escaped with the help of two accomplices. One was a male Orion, and the other a Nasikin. The Orion caused a commotion, filing a complaint regarding a prisoner transfer that never occurred, and then kept shouting until he managed to distract the entire room. Meanwhile, the Nasikin made his way into the cell block and shorted out the force field controls. Cameras caught him equipping our Federation prisoner with a holo emitter disguise. The three then escaped into the city in the aftermath. Security cameras caught the trio heading north before they were lost in the crowd. You are to search there for any witnesses that may lead us to their hiding location. I don't care what this prisoner knows. He's been more trouble than his value to intelligence. If he happens to die during capture, there will not be an inquiry. Hmm. I think I know where we can start looking for the criminals. The Chamber of Judgment is nearby, close to the Lake of Fire. An old judge I know likes to sit near the lake between trials. He might have seen something, and he's no friend to criminals. If he saw them, he will be happy to bring them to justice. The Lake of Fire is just outside of the Exchange. With luck, the Judge will be there. Head west from the courtyard and down the stairs to the tailor. The stranger with the Orion and Nasigan? Yes, they were just here. They made a quick purchase and then made their way to the bar to the west. Speaking of new clothes, I could outfit you and your crew in the latest in Klingon fashion for the right price. Come see me anytime. Talk with him and Taylor, and you can visit him at any time to alter the appearance of your character and your bridge officers.
What can I get you? Ah, yes, them. They asked about another Orion, a fixer named Garat, then headed downstairs. Syndicate business, I'm guessing. Anyway, their business, not mine. Stranger, an Orion, and a Nausicaan. <laughs> Reminds me of a joke I heard once. <laughs> well, yeah, then again, perhaps this isn't the time for such things. You know, I did see such a group. They went into the back rooms, right over there, behind those doors. Always happy to help warriors of the Empire with anything they might need. Good hunting. officers to join you for this mission. As you gain more officers, you will be able to choose between them when you enter missions. When you choose an officer, they will join you for the whole mission. They can be replaced on later missions. That is a suspiciously new console for an old building. Looks like the spies have set incendiary devices to cover their tracks. We should disable these in case they are set to ignite later. Let's resume our search for the human criminal. That room in the back looks like a good place to start. <laughs> You're too late. You may have defused the bombs, but your quarry is long gone.
not talking. Probably trained to withstand torture. We're not going to get anywhere with this one. KTF security is on their way. They can take this Bachtag to the infirmary. Last transport was to the shipyard in orbit above Kronos. If we don't hurry, our prisoner could easily secure passage out of the system. I recommend we go to the shipyard at once. We need to make our way to the transporter pad to beam to the shipyard, Captain. Interested in buying a slightly used ship? Oh yes, just minutes ago. I sold him a shuttle. He seemed in a rush to leave. Didn't think anything of it. I assume he's wanted by the KDF? Lucky for you, I kept a copy of the transponder code of the shuttle he just bought. And I will give it to you at no charge. In fact, since you're going after such a dangerous fugitive, let me throw in this technical manual. The spec should help your tactical officer to be able to eke some better performance out of your ship. Just to show you which side I'm on. Kipla! And glory to the Empire, right? <laughs> Captain, we found the transponder signal. Standing by to beam you aboard and begin pursuit.
I'm disappointed he was able to get off Kronos, but not surprised. He's a slippery one. Do what you need to do to bring him back. You have his warp trail, so I begin with that. There Congratulations, is one, Lieutenant. You have just earned your first skill points. Let's hear to learn more. You need to get to board. What do you want? Skills will increase your effectiveness in both space combat and ground combat. Select any skill to see a full description of the benefits gained by purchasing it. Every space skill costs one space point to purchase, while every ground skill costs one ground point. You will earn one space point every level, and one ground point every five levels, until you reach level 50. For each skill purchased, you will earn progress in unlock paths. Space skills have three paths corresponding to the engineering, science, or tactical categories, while ground skills have only a single unlock path. Unlocks sometimes offer choices upon reaching certain milestones. They are also the primary means of learning to train your bridge officers in new abilities. You may select any unlock node to see what benefits it provides. Powerful abilities can be earned by spending 25 or more of your space points in a single category of skills. You will not be able to earn enough space or ground points to purchase everything available to you. You may change your skills by clicking the Retrain Skills button. Gold subscribers earn free respect tokens every rank, and additional respect tokens can be purchased via the C Store. From the heart of Kronos to the frozen wastes of Ruripenthe, Klingons have built an empire that values strength, honor, and skill in combat. To be Klingon is to be a warrior. Fight well, live with honor, die with a blade in your hand. If you can do these things, you will live forever in the stories and songs of the Empire.
On the front lines of the Klingon Federation War, brave captains from both sides battled to defend their homes and gain advantages for their faction. Each death has meaning, every victory can turn the tide. These are the conflicts that will determine the fate of the Quadrant. Captain, the warp trail ends here. What are your orders? Captain, we've begun the scans. We'll start at a range of five kilocams and work our way out from there. Captain, I recommend modifying the navigational beacons in this system to amplify our efforts in locating the prisoner.
beacon modified. Nothing yet. We should modify another beacon. Got him! Establishing a communication link now! You? I am impressed. I thought Doran was the right choice for command, but apparently even I can be wrong. The KDF will do well with you in their ranks. You have the tenacity of a rabid targ. As much as I might deserve to rot in a Klingon jail cell and be interrogated to within an inch of my life on a daily basis, I have unfinished business. It's time I was going. I don't doubt that you would. However, I always have an escape plan. I've planted a tiny subroutine in all Starfleet computers. If any vessel arrives in the Boreth system, their sensors will pick up distress beacons from dozens of destroyed Starfleet starships. In addition, when we started this conversation, I sent out a few false maydays from these phantom vessels. <laughs> Ships are already responding. You've proven yourself to be a skilled warrior already, so I'm sure you know that Kalis said it was acceptable to lose a battle to save an empire. Or a ship. I suggest you leave before Starfleet arrives. Captain, we're being hailed by one of the Starfleet vessels. Klingon bird of prey, power down your weapons and shields and prepare to be boarded. Our sensors are detecting several Federation distressed beacons in this area. This trap is obviously your handiwork. Surrender now, or we will be forced to open fire.
another contact on the scanners. How many ships did stop have in our section? We're ready to leave the system on your command. We're ready to leave the system on... Scanning the radiation will cause a wave scanner minigame to appear. To play the minigame, use your arrow keys to line up the red waves with the blue waves in the background. We're ready to leave the system on your command. It is unfortunate that the prisoner has eluded your search. That said, you did uncover a Federation spy nest in the heart of First City. We've deciphered their infiltration techniques and are cracking down on their spy network within the Empire. One of my prison guards was impressed with your tenacity and asked to be reassigned to your crew. You would be wise to accept it. There Congratulations, is one, Lieutenant. We have identified the Federation prisoner you've been chasing. His name is Franklin Drake. Some of our sources say he's a Starfleet intelligence agent, but there are hints that he's much more. From what I can tell, he's not part of the normal chain of command. Previously, we didn't have any images or genetic samples from him, which is why he was so hard to identify. Now, we'll be on him the second he shows his face again. We already have a lead for you to follow. Records indicate a Klingon shuttle entered space above the Rura Penthe penal colony. That system is restricted, and there was no traffic scheduled for today. You are authorized by the High Council to approach the system and determine if Drake is there. Bring him back alive, if you can. There is work 
to do.